So let's have a look inside the Bluegrass Favorites ebook to understand the Bluegrass Squared format. Let's look at Bile Them Cabbage Down. Alright, so here's Bile Them Cabbage Down in Bluegrass Squared format. You can think of this format as a color-coded Nashville numbering system. Each box is one beat and the colors represent the chords in the song. If we look at the quick chord reference here, you'll see that the primary colors are used for the one, four, and five chords. This is a very common chord progression. So if we play in the key of G, your chords in the song will be yellow, will be G, blue, C, and red, D. So all we really need to do is fill up each box with notes and change chords with the colors, and it really is that simple. And the idea here is to learn the melody and the chord progression without trying to play a lead break just yet. Learn to sing the song as you play something simple like strumming, pinching, vamping, or basic rolling through the song. When you have that down first, the instrumental breaks will become easier to master. Uh, as you can see, each song in Bluegrass Favorites comes with four backing tracks and a melody track. The melody track is really good if you've never heard the song before. It makes it very easy to learn the melody. Let's take a quick listen to this melody track. Those melody tracks will play through uh, twice through the chorus and verse and uh, those melody notes are actually shown for the banjo, guitar and mandolin uh, for each song. Uh, you can see that these are shown in numbers. Uh, so 2-0 would represent the second string open. So the first number is the string, the second number is where you would fret it. Uh, here we have a 21, that would be the second string at the first fret. Here's a 32, that would be the third string at the second fret. So it makes it really easy to follow those melody notes. All right, let's see what we can do with the banjo and how we can play along with these songs. Okay, so as I said before, each box is one beat. But each beat is made up of a downbeat and an upbeat. The left side of the box is the downbeat right side of each box is the upbeat and we would count that one and for one box. And what can we do with that on one and? Well we could just strum on that downbeat. The downbeat is the number, the one. So one and. Now two boxes together make up a full measure. One and two and. And so we could simply just strum on the downbeats. One and two and. And then just change chords with the colors. One and two and one and two and. Okay? So now let's change, let's let's put in the words for the one and two and. Let's see what it sounds like. Ready? Bow them cabbage down, make them biscuits brown. Only song that I can sing is bow them cabbage down. Alright? Now, whether you play the banjo, guitar, mandolin, ukulele, it doesn't matter. You can do the same thing with this. Just hold the right chord and change chords with the colors. It really is that simple. And just strum through the song. Now, if, if you're playing three-finger bluegrass banjo, let's see what else we could do. We could just, if we're just starting to pick, we could, we could do a pinch. We'd hit a, a string on the downbeat and a pinch the upbeat. One and two and one and two and. Alright, let's try that. Change chords with the colors and keep that rhythm smooth. Let's try that. Bow them cabbage down, bake them biscuits brown. Only song that I can sing is bow them cabbage down. Alright, now what else could we do? We could also vamp through it. Now this might be a little more advanced, but not really. It takes a, a, a few weeks and you can learn how to do this. All right, we're gonna hit a, a bass note on the downbeat and we're gonna vamp on the upbeat. One and two and. All right, let's go through that song. Bow them cabbage down, 
bake them biscuits brown. Only song that I can sing is Bobby had his down. Alright, what else could we do? Now, if we're going to, once we start rolling and, and doing continuous rolls, four notes fit into each box. So, an alternating thumb roll fits perfectly into each box. It's four notes. So, one and, one and, two and, and we'll do that. One and, two and, one and, two and. All we gotta do, again, keep that roll going, change chords with the colors, and you're playing the song. Let's give it a shot. Bow them cabbage down, make them biscuits brown. Oh, the song that I 